Kia ora koutou, no mai hara mai ki te kauta mo whanau kai the giving series. This is the beautiful kitchen that we're going to use. I'm so excited to be here. This is going to be just a little pilot episode to show you what whanau kai the giving series is going to look like. Firstly, I'm going to announce who the baking is going to be for. So today I'm making Afghans and they are going to our fabulous editor, Matata Stokes. Uh, what's his story? Let's just say he's um, really broke due to COVID-19. So koe ngā kai, ka whakamahia e tātou mō tēnei tohu tau. These are the ingredients that you will need for this recipe. Pani veka tiakarete, chocolate ganache. Kia kotahi rau, rima te kau karamu tiakarete parauri. 150 grams of dark chocolate, I used 50%. Kia waru te kau rita mano kirimi, 80 ml of cream. Kia kotahi koko nui miere koura, 1 tablespoon of golden syrup. For the caramelised walnuts, walnutsi. Kia kotahi hau toru kapu huka one, 1 third of a cup of caster sugar. Kia rua koko nui wai, 2 tablespoons of water. Kia rua hau toru kapu walnutsi, 2 thirds of a cup of walnuts. For our pihikete, our biscuit. Kia rua rau karamu pataku tere tere. 200 grams of softened butter. Kia rua hau toru kapu huka haura, 2 thirds of a cup of brown sugar. Kia rua koko iti iho hu pirei, 2 teaspoons of vanilla essence. Kia kotahi hau toru kapu koko, 1 third of a cup of cocoa. Kia whaanga wheatsi piki, 4 wheat bits. Kia kotahi me te haurua kapu puehu prawa, 1 and a half cups of flour. Kia ora. I te tuatahi, firstly we are going into the chocolate ganache. We're going to work a little bit out of order, but the chocolate ganache needs to set, so we're going to start with that. All you need to remember when you are melting your chocolate over the double boiler is you don't want to heat your water too high. Chocolate is very heat sensitive, so keep it with a medium heat and slowly melt your chocolate that way. Into a large pot, add your tiakarete parodi, creamy, and mire koura. Beautiful, silky chocolate ganache. Step two is to make our caramelised walnuts. They also need to set. All you need to remember with caramel is be really, really careful. Kia tsu pato, because you can burn your mati mati, your fingers. Add in your huka one and a little bit of whey. So now we're going to make our caramelised walnuts. One thing that you will find is if you have little speckles of sugar that are going around your pot, it can make the entire sugar and water crystallize. So what you have on hand is a little bit of water. Also a pastry brush is really helpful. And you just brush the water around the sides as it cooks, as your caramel cooks, so that it doesn't crystallize and ruin your entire mixture. The more you stir, the more you're gonna mess it up. Once we've got a beautiful auburn colour, we're going to add our walnuts into there. They will toast in the caramel. And that is just going to sit there now to set hard and we will chop it to put on top of our afghans. Okay, so we have made our chocolate ganache and we have made our candied walnuts. Now we are on to actually making the biscuit. Inayane, me whakapā huka huka tia, te pataku tere tere, 
me te huka hauda. So now we are going to whip our softened butter and our brown sugar. Super easy to do and all you need to remember with this is we are taking the yellow butter and sugar to a nice light whipped state. That means it is creamed and perfect. Ihohu pere, koko, mix together, sprinkle in the wheaty piki, and our puehu parawa. Mix until combined. Okay, so we've got our beautiful moist dough here. Obviously, you can use cornflakes as well, lots of people do but I love the wheaty piki uh, because it's always in our cupboard. So, kaya koutou te tikanga, up to you guys as to what you use. And this is the job I usually give my tamariki. Tapa here ngā walnutsi, chop the walnuts. Mm -mm. Kapai koutouma, so our biscuits are baked and cooled. Our walnuts are all set and chopped up ready to go. And our beautiful ganache, you can see it goes from a really liquidy situation to a nice, smooth, pipeable, consistency. Now if you don't want to pipe the ganache, all you need to do is let it cool down for maybe 15 minutes, get it a little bit thicker and then you can just dip your afghans into the ganache if you want to. But I'm all about the piping life, so I'm doing it like that. So all I have is a jar here. I've got my piping tip and my piping bag. I fold it down halfway, pop it in there. It gives me a nice base and then I can just just going to start with two thirds of my ganache and then I just pull up the sides, push down to get my ganache into the right place and then we're ready to go. Squeeze gently. The tip with ganache as well is don't chill your ganache in the fridge as it will often set little clumps and not make it as beautifully pipeable as this one. Okay, so we have created our fabulous afghans. I'm really happy with them, they look beautiful. Some people might be slightly irritated by the caramelized walnut, but okay, they're pie. So at this stage, you will see me packaging the baking to go to the recipient. I will also um, stick onto the box a sticker that says, Mai tōku kauta ki tō kauta ki ki ana ki te aroha. From my kitchen to your kitchen, filled with love. And then I will acknowledge the recipient, Matara. I hope that you get a job and that you can pay your rent. I hope these Afghans help you for about five to seven minutes while you eat them. Kia ora. Nga akoranga no extra lessons. Whakapā huka huka to whip. Whakapā huka huka tia. Whip said as a command. Whakapā huka huka tia te pata me te huka. Whip the butter and the sugar. Neira te mihi nui ka koutou katoa. Whānau Kai The Giving Series is funded by Te Māngai Pāho, Tēnā Rawa Tsukoutou.